Well, it's finally arrived, a package from China. All right, so let's check it out. Um, so this year I've decided to try and get my um, advanced ham radio license. So to kind of help out with that and the studying, I decided to buy an oscilloscope, which is in this package, uh, all the way from China, land of cheap electronics. Lots of bubble wrap here. So there we go. Handtech PC oscilloscope. Uh, yeah, up to 200 megahertz bandwidth, uh, one giga sample a second, and measurements via USB. So it's a pretty standard uh, PC based uh, oscilloscope. Nothing fancy. That's part of the reason why they tend to be affordable. No display, all done in software. Um, maybe not the, uh, the best devices out there for everybody but uh, you know if you're looking for something cheap they tend to be fairly decent nicely bubble wrapped um, so forgot to mention it's a four channel oscilloscope and uh, arbitrary warm waveform generator as well so have the uh, four input channels there and uh, that'll be the arbitrary output uh, USB there and I'm not sure USB IX as well I'm not sure what that's for we'll get that figured out at some point okay so the oscilloscope and let's see what else it comes with uh, it's a fairly standard looking scope probe with uh, your color rings so you can easily see which one is which and a second uh, probe and they look like standard BNC mount probes so I, I have a few of those hanging around from some older oscilloscopes that I'm sure will come in useful um, looks like a USB cable um, I'm gonna guess it takes more power than one USB port uh, can supply, hence the uh, double connection there. And a little bit of extra power. Uh, software. And ah, more scope probes. Or, uh, so BNC alligator for clipping on to uh, whatever work you have. And it looks like a BNC to BNC as well. So fairly complete. Um, I mean, it would be nice for four channel scope to get four of each, but you know, for the price that you pay for these beggars can't be choosers. And, uh, this should, uh, get me started with, uh, with the oscilloscope. Okay. So we got the software set up. It was pretty straightforward. Um, I made the mistake of plugging the uh, scope in first, uh, and it wasn't detected properly, but, uh, installed the uh, drivers uh, from the zip file and it turns out that the drivers will install from the application uh, as well and you should be able to plug in the uh, scope right after and it will get picked up by the drivers uh, plug it in and start up the application and I have four channels uh, running and I heard some of the relays inside of the scope uh, ticking away when it first started up so obviously it was uh, selecting all the right uh, settings for the uh, voltage inputs and that um, so as quickly as a, a test just to show things are working properly, I uh, used the BNC to BNC to basically connect up the arbitrary waveform generator into channel one. And we're going to take a look with the software itself to make sure things work.
Um, so I see the connected light is flashing here. Um, you know, I change a few of the settings, um, time division, but thing is when I change the uh, voltage setting, I can hear relay selecting the different uh, input circuits. Um, so I guess the first thing to do is we'll go to the DDS and uh, see that it's set up to generate uh, one kilohertz waveform, uh, two volts peak to peak. Uh, nice sine wave, it's off right now. So we will turn that on and go back to the DSO and you can see uh, channel one here has uh, started showing a sine wave. Um, I was playing around with it earlier, so settings aren't quite right. I'm triggering off a of channel two, set the trigger to channel one and things uh, look fine there. So let's see, right now we're at five milliseconds per division, which should mean one, two, three, four, five uh, waveforms uh, or five cycles per second. So if we go to one millisecond, we should see uh, one sine wave cycle per division and looks exactly right. Um, and then just you know, show things are working. Take the BNC off channel one. Signal disappeared. Move it over to channel two. Again, uh, you know the waveform isn't synchronized there because I'm not cha uh, triggering off that channel. So if I move the trigger over to channel two, uh, we're fine. Channel two is set to uh, one volt per division. So it looks like the amplitude might actually be two volts peak to peak. Let's move it to one volt, go back to the scope, and yeah, you can see that it's two divisions tall. You can see the graphics aren't the, the greatest. There's a lot of, uh, you know, noise on the channels the way that's showing right now. I'm not sure. I haven't played around with the settings yet to see if there's any kind of averaging um, to try and smooth things out a little bit. But, uh, you know, for my needs right now, um, this is looking like it should do what I need. Again, moving to a different channel. Uh, the interface isn't super fantastic. You can't look at all the channels at once. So I have to move to channel three. And if I want to change the volts per division, I can do that there. So too large. There you go, two volts. Again, triggering on the wrong channel. So if I move my trigger over, things are fine. So looks like channel three is working. So far, channel one, two, three. And lastly, channel four. So again, move to channel four. Change my volts division, something more reasonable, and move my triggering over, and things settle down. Um, Change a couple things, the so square wave, channel updates with the square wave, AM, FM, so it looks like we're doing a amplitude modulation here. It's like amplitude and frequency modulation at the same time. So there's frequency modulation, amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulated, frequency modulated. Getting some aliasing here, but or something like that. Uh, I'll have to take a look at the settings to see exactly what's going on later. Ramp waveform. Trapezoid waveform. Straight up Gaussian noise. Um, arbitrary waveform. Not sure exactly um, 
what can be done here. Um, hopefully it will allow playback of uh, basically wave files. I don't see uh, input for that, but again, we'll take some look, looking into that a bit later. Uh, exponential decay, so step function of exponential decay. Looks good. And straight up white noise. It looks fine. So yeah, overall it looks like all four channels are working. The arbitrary waveform generator seems to be doing what it's supposed to do. Um, so first little bit with the scope, I'm happy it looks to be doing exactly everything as advertised.